Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down the science, the specs, and my real results. If you're wondering which one of these is worth your time, or if you're just here for the split face before and afters, then you're in the right place. So, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the Dermray's Revive. Now, this isn't your average at-home gadget. It's a clinical grade, FDA cleared diode laser that uses a 1064 nanometer wavelength. Now, that's important because 1064 nanometers is known for its ability to reach deeper into the skin specifically the reticular dermis which is found between three and four millimeters deep and which is where your skin's real support structure lives the revive delivers an energy density of 10 joules per square centimeter for context that's about four times more powerful than the original nero pro device and over twice as powerful as the nero pro plus but it's not just about brute force. The Revive uses different pulse widths too, 200, 300, and 400 milliseconds. And it has a total energy output of 17.7 .7 joules per pulse, which allows it to reach about three to four millimeters into the skin like I mentioned earlier. At this depth, it's actually deep enough to remodel the collagen framework and not just smooth the surface. It's also got a built-in cooling system that keeps the surface of your skin at a comfortable 15 to 18 degrees Celsius or 59 to 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit, even while the dermis underneath is being heated to the collagen stimulating sweet spot of around 43 degrees Celsius, which is 109.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That means you get the benefits of a professional grade treatment, but without the discomfort that you might expect from a device this powerful. But the Revive isn't just about collagen either. Because of the way that it targets water, melanin, and hemoglobin, it can also help with pigmentation, redness, and even pore size. It's a bit of a multitasker and I I'm loving that. Now the treatment schedule is pretty reasonable, three to four times a week for the first two weeks, then two to three times a week for three weeks, and then after that just a once a month to maintain. So basically you're not tied to your bathroom every single night. But let's get into the science and the real world differences between these two devices because this is where things get interesting. First up, wavelengths. The Dermray's Revive, as I mentioned earlier, uses a 1064 nanometer diode laser. That's a wavelength known for its ability to penetrate deep, about three to four millimeters deep into the skin. Now, like I touched on earlier on, this means that the frequency of the Revive is actually penetrating into the reticular dermis, which is basically the foundation of your skin structure. Now, if you're looking to act change firmness and contour then this is the layer that you want to target the Nero Pro Plus on the other hand uses a 1450 nanometer laser and this is more superficial as a wavelength only going about half a millimeter deep into the skin at this point it's focused on the papillary dermis layer which is much closer to the surface that makes it absolutely ideal for fine lines texture and just giving your skin that polished fresh Photoshop in real life look between these two devices, energy density is another big difference. The Revive delivers 10 joules per square centimeter, which is a lot more power compared to the Nero Pro Plus, which sits at between 2.1 and 3.8 joules. But the reason for this is simple. You need more energy to reach those deeper layers, meaning that the Nero's lower energy is perfect for the upper dermis, where you don't wanna overdo it. Both of these devices are non-ablative and non-fractionated, so they heat the dermis without actually causing any damage to the surface, bonus. They are both way more powerful than your average LED mask, think 200 times more powerful. So we're not talking about light therapy here, we're talking about actual real laser technology. Comfort wise, the Revive has a built-in cooling system that keeps the skin at a comfortable 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, which as I mentioned earlier is 59 to 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Even while the dermis underneath is being heated to the collagen stimulating 43 degrees Celsius or 109.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes it super comfortable, especially for longer sessions or if like me, you've got sensitive skin. The Nero Pro Plus has got an inbuilt fan that kicks in immediately when you turn it on. Now the Pro Plus offers 50% more power than the original Nero Pro so it needs this instant cooling but this device can feel a little bit hot especially around the eyes but it's quick and easy for treating these areas so for me it's a fair compromise. Design wise the Revive's latest version has got just two contact points instead of the four which actually makes this easier to use on curved areas like the forehead. Now when I try to use this version which is the four point across the forehead it doesn't actually work particularly well and I lose power a lot of the time when my skin loses contact with these points. 
But obviously the updated version has only got two points on it, which means that it is now working like a dream across those curves. I put an order in for a two point one so that I can really compare it. For now, I'm still with the four point, but from my understanding, any orders now that are made for the Dermray's Revive will come as standard with the two points instead of the four points. Now looking at the nearer devices when it comes to precision, the smaller opening makes these absolutely ideal, especially with the nearer precision device. The larger opening is definitely more suited to treating larger areas of skin, the upper cheeks, around the jawline. Whereas the precision model is made for getting right up into those real tight creases and areas where maneuverability is a bit of an issue with these larger devices. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the protocols are different between these two devices. With the Revive, you're looking at three to four times a week for two weeks, then two to three times a week for three weeks and then after that just once a month to maintain. The Nero Pro Plus is more of a daily commitment for the first 90 days and then you can drop it down to twice a week which is what I'm doing now to maintain. If you're using the Revive, it's pretty straightforward. All you're gonna do is you're gonna cleanse your skin, you're gonna pat it dry, and then you're gonna place the device flat against your skin until you hear the beep. Then you're gonna move it in small sections, just overlapping slightly as you move it. And a half face treatment takes me roughly around about five to seven minutes to do, meaning that the full face is gonna take me between 10 and 15. Here's where a lot of people get confused. These aren't really competitors. They're more like different tools for different jobs. The Nero Pro Plus is like a detailer for the upper layers. It's perfect for fine lines, surface texture, and especially the delicate eye area. It's gentle, it's precise, and it's great for daily maintenance. The Dermray's Revive is your structural engineer. It goes deeper, targeting the reticular dermis to rebuild the collagen framework. And that's what you want for sagging, loss of contour, and more significant signs of aging. The way that I like to look at it is that you wouldn't use a sledgehammer to hang a picture, just like you wouldn't use a tack hammer to break up concrete. Each of these laser devices has its place, and both can actually work together in a routine amazingly, which is exactly what I do. I use the Revive for targeting those deeper layers, really getting that collagen and the foundations of everything nice and plumped up, toned, tightened, and really just rejuvenated and then I come in with my Nero Pro Plus and I take care of those fine lines and wrinkles, pores, texture and all of the surface things. So building the house with the Revive and then painting the house and making it super pretty with the Nero Pro Plus. All right let's get a bit nerdy here. The reticular dermis is the thick lower part of your dermis. It's packed with dense collagen and elastin fibers which are basically the scaffolding that keeps your skin firm and lifted. Now, as we age, this collagen breaks down and it gets disorganized. And this is what leads to the sagging and deeper wrinkles forming. The 1064 nanometer wavelength is ideal because it can bypass the upper layers and deliver energy right where it's needed. And it can do all of this without damaging the surface. Basically, when the revived laser hits the reticular dermis, it heats the tissue to approximately 43 degrees Celsius, which is 109.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This triggers a process called selective photothermolysis, basically controlled heat that stimulates fibroblasts, which if you don't already know are the cells that make collagen and elastin. You get an immediate tightening effect from collagen contraction and then over the next few weeks your skin starts building new better organized collagen. The 1064 nanometer wavelength also targets water, melanin and hemoglobin, so you get bonus effects. By targeting deeper melanin, it can help fade pigmentation. By sealing off the tiny blood vessels and targeting that hemoglobin in them, it can help with redness and broken capillaries or the spider veins on the face. And by suppressing the sebaceous gland activity, it can help shrink pores. And because the heating is even and controlled, it can actually help to calm sensitive skin and reduce inflammation. For the last month, I've been using the Revive on one side of my face and the Nero Pro Plus on the other. And here's what I noticed. After 30 days, the Revive side looked firmer, especially along the jawline and the cheek. There was also a bit of an improvement in pigmentation and the overall tone of my skin. Now, something that I really did notice, and this was something that makes this an absolute must-have device for me, is that the spider veins, the broken capillaries, and the redness in my skin on the 
revive side up close definitely looked massively reduced. Now I've tried a lot of different creams, topicals and device treatments to try and get my rosacea and spider veins under control. Telangiectasia, or these small thread veins on the skin can be super stubborn to get rid of. The Dermraise Revive has actually really helped massively with getting rid of a majority of them to the point that I've actually now started to use it on the other half of my face because I need things to look even. But just for that reason alone and the fact that it has helped so much with the spider veins amazing the nearer side smoother skin finer lines especially around the eyes and a nice surface glow now i've not had any irritation from either of these devices but the revives cooling system definitely made more longer sessions more pleasant so who is the revive actually for if you're dealing with moderate signs of aging think sagging skin deeper wrinkles or loss of contour then this is where the revive really shines its deeper reach means that it can target those structural changes that more superficial treatments like with the Nero pro plus just can't touch it's also a multitasker so if you want to tackle firmness pigmentation redness and pores all at once then the revives 1064 nanometer wavelength is designed to do just that this one, in my opinion, is a really good option if you've considered professional radio frequency, but you want something that you can use at home. If you're not a fan of daily treatments, then you're also going to appreciate that the Revive is less demanding after the first month of use. And if you have sensitive skin, hi, then the combination of the 1064 nanometer wavelength and the cooling system that's built into this makes it gentle enough for most people.